any needles or people. I'm sure. Should I switch back the channel? I didn't change anything. Okay. If that's okay with you. That's I didn't okay. edit it. I just didn't change anything. That's great. Okay. <laughs> I'll just sit like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's different. Oh, I got it. I prepared for this. I was like, she's shorter than me and she doesn't know it, but I'm going to wear heels. <laughs> and so I made it so I could just easily adjust that. Okay. Cool. We're good. Are you live streaming already? Indeed. Hello, everyone. Miss Gelman. Let me know if there's any interesting comments there. Mm, unfortunately, the stand is blocking, but I'll go take a look at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming. So good to be here and have some some people out for live music again. It's happening, I swear. It really is. I'm gonna actually start with a couple finger pickings on. So it is Earth Day after all. And this song isn't about the earth, it's uh, about my journey with music and being a musician, trying to, trying to continue to choose hope, as Chris was singing about in some of her songs tonight. But um, I wrote this song, it was the first one mixed for my new record, and we were getting ready to mix about 13 more, but the fires came through Ojai, where I live, and had to evacuate, and came back about two weeks later, a week later, I don't remember, because you don't remember when you're evacuating for fire, what's happening. <laughs> I did grab all my guitars. But I came back and then we started hiking around the land and seeing what was happening with the land. And what was amazing is pretty soon after these fires came through, the plants were resilient and they just started growing again up out of the earth. And so they'd be burnt, charred completely at the top and white where the burn had almost gotten them and then green pushing up out of the earth. And it was really beautiful, the resilience of it all. And so watching that and then watching spring come in and all the life coming through the valley, I was inspired and we made a music video for this song that features really mother nature. <laughs> it's not even really featuring the song. And we got so lucky. Um, we shot over two days and got some great drone shots of uh, all these clouds coming in over some mountains that a friend owns. And they happen to be the same mountains where I got married a couple years ago. And, uh, yeah, here it is. It's called Dancer. Life made me some promises it never meant to keep. Set me up to break me down in places where I'm weak. Held me up against each day. Hope on the soles of my feet But life made me some promises It never meant to keep Love took my heart before It wandered off so fast Something prettier and lovelier Than what it left me it didn't mean to break me That's just its desire Love took my heart before And up and left me blind And I never know Just how strong my soul had grown Just how wild my old dreams have become Till I gave them all away And forgot who I was yesterday No longer hell Just a place I'm from 
The answers come more often than the questions you seek. If you're giving when it's hard, when life has got you big, and maybe what's important ain't the truth or the lie. But to hold up your words and look them in the eye to know yourself through <coughs> till the day you die. Your love becomes an answer we can all live by. Your love becomes an answer. We can live by your love becomes the answer. We can live by. Thank you. All right, I have to address the elephant not in the room, Mike. Mike does not have COVID, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, I come here and I'm like, what you freaking talking about? But you can test yourself for COVID now. Yeah, I know you're sick anyway. How are you, my friend? You're late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom always wanted me to be a teacher. And uh, she had Alzheimer's, as some of you know. And even as, uh, even as she forgot a lot of stuff, she used to be like, so teaching is music working out for you because you should I don't know why she has an accent like she's from Jersey because she's not but I'm like you still remember that don't you she's like you got summers off you got really great health insurance it's always a thing all right I might have to erase this from the bottom Chris now. <laughs> oh sorry um I'm like this was oh and it was moving because the but yeah Mike I made him test for COVID because well, frankly, because I'm 18 weeks pregnant and was like, you ain't giving oh. me COVID, dude. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I have so many jokes in this. Stop. Okay. Wait. Here we are. We were here. So, you guys like Schitt's Creek? Oh, yeah. I, um, I love that show, and I... <laughs> I went and checked out some birthing centers a couple weeks ago, and I was really like this one that has a TV, like right in the middle. Because so I was like, I can just put Shit's Creek on when I'm like in contractions. I'm just gonna be watching like I'm a little bit single, even when I'm not. Like Alexis doing her thing, like. I told them you don't have COVID. He has what's coming next. <laughs> so, so you want Whatever. Whatever. It's like too soon for the joke. You it's, it's, it's not COVID. It's a. Uh, what's like a French way of saying COVID? COVID. <laughs> right on cue. I love it. Okay. This is a. Uh, this is what Noah sings. Well, that's not his name on the show. David's boyfriend. Patrick. Patrick, thank you. See, I'm a fan, and I've only watched it twice, and I can't remember shit. <laughs> Patrick sings this to David. I miss that one. Oh, you gotta see it. <coughs> I call you when I need you, and my heart's on fire. You come to me wild and wild. Come to me, give me everything I need. Give me a lifetime of promises and a world full of dreams. Speak the language of love like you know what it means. It can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it stronger. You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone ever met. And I 
I'm stuck on your heart. I hang on every word you say. Don't tear us apart, babe. Wherever we did, in your heart I see the start of every night and every day. In your eyes I get lost, I get washed away. Just as long as I'm here in your arms, I feel no better place. It's simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone ever met. And I'm stuck on your arm. I hang on every word. You say don't tell us about me. Oh, I'd rather be dead. Each time you leave me, I start losing control. Like walking away with my heart and my soul. I can feel you, baby, even when I'm alone. Baby, don't let go. Better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone ever met. And I'm stuck on your heart. I hang on every word you say. Don't tell us about me. Oh, I'd rather be dead. Whoa, 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 Well, I hope we're through all of this. My landlord's a conspiracy theorist, and she's on. I brought her some frittata the other day because they gave us some eggs. She's like, if we go into another lockdown, there's going to be a revolution. I'm like, let's not go there. <laughs> I'm really about to start putting up, like, we live very far off the beaten path, and our landlord is the only person who would see it. But so many times I've been very close to putting up like all the signs like you know obviously Biden <laughs> Black Lives Matter and, like just like love is love all those signs and I'm like I don't even know where to get them because nobody sees our place so I'm just gonna put them up just for her and we we love them they're like your family we told them we were pregnant they're like we're raising your rent <laughs> so it's like but you're like family we really want you to stay so it, if it's a problem let us know there was that. There was that. We're raising it, but let us know if it's a problem. <laughs> we just told you we're pregnant. Um, but, yeah, I hope there's better days ahead. We're getting very off topic. I did just get a show the other day because I am a Democrat, or it was assumed that I was, and the host felt bad for me playing in a room full of, I'm sorry if you're a Republican and you're here and you're feeling very singled out, but you live in San Francisco, so you should be <laughs> so, I was on stage the other day, and Caroline Rayo was like, this girl, she invited me out. She introduced me by going, this poor girl was playing in a room full of Republicans, and nobody was listening to her. And she brings me out. She goes, you're not Republican, are you? I'm like, no. Like, and if I was, would I tell you right now? <laughs> like, I, um, I grew up in New York City, though, when Giuliani was mayor. So I kind of... I'm open to ideas. Why is this so much shorter than it was before? I keep raising it. Either I'm getting taller. Maybe it's like you so are tall. Maybe it's yeah. down. Yeah. I, I, I'm not that. Yeah, that was really good. This is ready for you now. All right. Well, eventually I'll get comfortable. We'll find. We'll find it. 
play some time for that. But I do, I hope we're, I hope we're through this all. And um, it's just me that's in my own personal lockdown for the next 18 years slash rest of my life. <laughs> but here we go. So you, the only person left, does anyone else here have kids? Okay. The so women here are like, yes. dying inside. Right. Yes. Right. I love, there's so many people that come up to me and they're like, so are you excited? Like, that is not the word for this situation. No, not excited. I haven't slept. I can't sleep because I get to pee all the time. I'll never get better. And I know it will never get better. I am fully freaking aware that it will never get better. But it's the light of your life. Some light of something. <laughs> <laughs> I love the women who are like, it sucks. And they have a smile on their face. One of my friends, I was like, so are you going to have another? She's like, we're done. <laughs> the like, very real. That's good. Um, on that note, here's a song called Better Days. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the current. I will be an anchor I will plant my feet down Where the storm Underneath my weakness I keep growing stronger I've been seeking Since I was born Oh, better days, better days Won't lose my tomorrow Cast away, cast away All from the side and bush things Hold on tight as well for two straight But better days, better days Every breaking way Solitude or silence is louder than the whole ocean when it crashes over me. It always comes to a pass. Can love somehow be reborn? Never true till it is broken. And the heart is. like talk in between songs if you really want to make my mother happy wherever she is you can raise your hand <laughs> if you like like school lessons <laughs> mm. but if you have any song requests let me know if it's a natalie gellman song there's a good high probability that i'll know it <laughs> but i actually don't know all of my own music 2020 um, oh yeah let's do that let's do that <laughs> We're far away from there. <laughs> Seems like it. You guys know, want to hear the story behind this one? Mm -hmm. Some of you were there, I think. <clears throat> I think some of you were there. I was playing, I was live streaming one night, and as things sometimes go, I'm drinking. <laughs> Which doesn't happen enough these days. <laughs> I, I went, we got, I got here yesterday, and today I opened the fridge. I'm literally doing this thing now where I open other people's alcohol, and I'm like smelling it. 
like, okay, <laughs> counting down the days. Um, I, Chris and Mike can attest to that. I literally like found some like peanut butter whiskey in your fridge. I don't know. That's not even something I would really drink, even <clears throat> if I could. But I was drinking one night and I was listening to, I was working on a, Missy Elliott's Work It, which uh, oh, nice. is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. Tis your from the wait, wait, how does it start? It starts. I want to get to know yeah, so I can show you the. Right. But that's not how, is that how the song starts? It's worth it. Let me work. It is how it starts. I got put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. Mm -hmm. Tis your from the tin yet, and yet. Tis your from the tin yet, and yet. They got a big. Ah! Let me search. Find out how hard I got to work it. Yeah. Tis your from the tin yet, and yet. Tis your for a minute, but tin yet, and yet. I'd like to get to know you so I can show you. Put the pussy on you, like a teacher. Girls that in stank, then call me over. Not on the bed, let me on the sofa. Something, something, something. Shave my top cha. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, as you do during October 2020, <laughs> I love you. That is the first person who's ever snorted. How I you? you know what? Can we be, is your roommate gone? Yeah. This is the first house concert that I've ever played. I've played a lot of house concerts. This is the first one where I was like, whoa. I was trying to take a nap <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I asked Chris and Mike. I'm trying to nap, but there's a really good performance happening next door. <laughs> I was like, wow. Whoa. I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Back to this 2020 song. So rap music. <laughs> so I'm, I'm so excited. We almost had, I almost had family coming tonight, and I couldn't play my favorite song. So maybe I'll still play it for you guys because they're not here. Um, because I can't play it in front of them. They're, they're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are corrupted. I can tell. Okay. So I, so I was, I was hanging out, learning Missy Elliott, and I was like, "What's the number one rap song today?" And it's this song called uh, "Rack City." Do you guys know "Rack City"? <clears throat> Yeah. Rack City. If you don't know Rack City, this is why I will never write a hit song. Rack City Bitch. Rack Rack City Bitch. 10, 10, 10, 20s on your... You have like four teenage boys. How do you not know this song? <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 20s on your titties, bitch. Rack City Bitch. Rack Rack City Bitch. Like, that's the whole song. That's the whole song. And I didn't even listen to it, and I think I nailed it. <laughs> it was perfect. And so this is, uh, this is where I... This is where I got inspired. This is the most rap song I'll ever write. <laughs> 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 This year I was gonna get my shit together Now I'm trying to stay alive, hoping 21 is better I haven't even heard of my friends Is this how the world ends? Y'all walking around with your masks on your chin But I promise that you ain't saving lives with your friends I mean, how'd you get so dumb? So I love the face, now here we come oh, 2020, is there any, any way I'll be out there? By 2021, I hope you'll not now. 2020, I've had that many last me through. 2022, oh, mm -hmm. patiently I've been staying at home. It's a blessing and a curse that I'm not alone. But there's only so many times. You can rearrange and redesign. Will you sit back, watch the craziness roll? The last act down the nose if we just to get back to some decency and truth. Oh, 2020, is there any will be undone? By 2021, I hope you'll not have 2020. I've had good and it lets me through 2022. Stop drinking my way through, but I just keep waiting, waiting, waiting to get through this year. So I don't want to stop working out. Stop eating my way through, but I just keep waiting, waiting, waiting to get through. 2020, is there any, any will be after? Last me through 2021. 
There's so many songs I want to play for you guys. I'm going to play Heavy, Heavy Heart. That's right. I was going to request. Perfect. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and, but, but does it have a trumpet in it? It doesn't. Why? You want more trumpet? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to hear that. I can I do some more trumpet songs. <laughs> All my trumpet songs are cover songs. I've never put uh, it in the original. Okay. It's a, it's a lips McGee thing. I don't know. We could find a way for the trumpet. <laughs> Anything's possible. Um. I wrote this song, I didn't write any music driving up here this weekend. I do a lot of writing in my car. And instead I, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I was listening to Maya Bialik talk about gut health. <laughs> and I showed it on Facebook today and nobody. I was like, look, the coolest thing you could do for your body is the coolest thing you could do for the planet. And I don't think anyone has engaged with it. <laughs> nobody gives a shit. Um, I write a lot in my car. Ojai doesn't really have traffic, except when LA comes up to Ojai, which happens a lot during COVID. This was written before COVID, and this one day I was driving down the street, and all the, we have all these pedestrian crossings, only like one stoplight in town, but um, you have to kind of stop and wait for everyone to cross and do their thing, and this guy tried to pass me in the parking lane, and I was like, please, you must be very important, go in front of me. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. And uh, drove to LA because that's where I was co-writing with a friend. Here it is. I think I'm moving, but it feels like I'm standing still. I think I'm loving, but it feels like I lost my way. Under the circumstance, no one could have taken me apart Quite like you It was just a game of chance You were holding all the cards Like it did Heavy, heavy heart Sinking like a stone Stop a fool, stop falling in love I'll never play You know what we are
I was stood by the French horn players in high school. They have this thing called the spit valve. Oh, God. Yeah. Do you guys know that? You guys were, like, banned? Yes. I was always, like, watching them, like, but why? That was so gross. <laughs> Who invented that instrument? <laughs> oh, man. Somebody. Probably a man. Definitely a man. <laughs> Ladies? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna play you guys. I've been uh, playing this one a lot lately, as in this past week. And um, yeah, I played that comedy show last week, and I played two super sad songs, <laughs> which actually worked worked out. But um, this is one of them. It's not super sad. It's it's something I wrote. It's not out yet, but um, I think I'll be doing an EP pretty soon. Part of the reason I haven't announced the whole pregnancy thing is because I haven't told my label. <coughs> on the internet now, whatever, but I finally reached the head of my label like yesterday. I was like, just so you know, I'm pregnant. He's like, well, no. I guess you won't tour in Q3 and 4. That rhymes. Huh. How is that? I was like, yeah, I will not be touring in Q3 and 4, but I am hoping that VW wants to sponsor me with an electric tour bus <laughs> uh. next year. No. Um, you and Neil Young. Right? Give me a VW bus with a crib or I don't know. I'll fit it. Um, this is uh this is one of the songs I'm hoping to record really soon. It's called Pieces of Time. Hmm. And it's about my mom. Take it day by day, they say. Take it as you come. Take it one step at a time. Then like the river runs. Do not look for a reason. Do not ask why. Do not live in the past. It will only make you cry. But I can't let go. No, I can't let go.
Do I want to mention the pregnancy? I'm like, no, because then it's all people talk about. <laughs> and now here I am. And it's all people <laughs> talk about. Sorry. It's this thing. I don't know. It's this thing. It's unfortunate. Um, but I think I'll play this song. This is uh this is called The Lights Upstairs. And I um I watch every single my Bialik <coughs> my Bialik's breakdown. Does anyone else watch that podcast series? No. I guess you guys all have your shit together, but <laughs> <laughs> just wait for the COVID. <laughs> you thought you were okay for COVID, but the COVID will give you all panic attacks. No. Um, I, I started getting into it because uh, Brent's aunt sent it to me, and uh, it's about mental health and everything. But yeah, she was talking about her oh, one of right. recent episodes was about uh, Alzheimer's, and I guess. Uh, Seth Rogen and his wife Lauren, I think his name is, have a charity. If anyone is um, dealing with that in their family, I really love what they're doing. I don't work with them or anything. I just know them from this podcast. But it's uh, it's called Hilarity for Charity, and uh, it's We Are HFC Hilarity for Charity dot org. Um, and they have all these resources. And I was like, oh, I didn't know about you guys when I was going through this. This is amazing. They like a lot of resources to help families process and handle it. Um, and I wrote this song, and this, this song helped me process and handle it. So here it is. It's called The Lights Upstairs. If I can remember it. Let's see. I found the ice next to the ice cream. I found the cheese next to the bread. The milk is in the pantry where the crackers getting low. Things are getting scrambled in your head. Darling, nobody cares if the lights are not upstairs. If the words don't come so easy after a while. Call me another night. It don't cause me any pain. This is how it goes. Your mind is not on track. You can lose all of the melodies you sang to me in town. But the still in your eyes and the bluebird knows the lines. I call you up for supper. And you shut off the lights Look at my sweet In your pearls and Sunday best Time, I guess it doesn't matter much Cause darling, nobody cares 
Keep the lights on on upstairs If the words don't come so easy After a while Call me another night It don't cause me any pain This is how it goes Your mind is not on track you can lose all of the melodies you sang to me in time But the sun in your eyes and the bluebird knows the land Think it's so much worse than it is Baby, you ain't lost all that you had I'll give you space to be the way you are There's still good days The bad ones ain't that bad No, no, no Nobody cares If the lights are on upstairs If the words don't come so easy After a while Call me another night and don't cause me any pain. This is how it goes. Your mind is not on track. You can lose all of the melodies you sang to me in time. But the still in your eyes and the bluebird knows the lines. You can lose all of the melodies. You make with me, my dear. But they're still in my heart, and the bluebirds in my sing that to her or is it uh, after i i'm sure i did oh. she well you know i wrote that about eight to ten years before she started kind of being on the decline mm -hmm. and so i probably did but, but that's what's so interesting about that mental you know challenge and, and process it's like the music is really the last thing that people lose and it was just one day we were at um in the home where she was living, this guy came and would perform and sing for them. And this one day he came in and he was singing, Una poco de gracia. Mm. And she looks at me and she goes, Poco means little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, You know that. All right. Like, you don't know when you need to go to the bathroom, but you know that. That's amazing. Mm. Um, and then I asked the guy if I could sing a song. And he was like, yeah, what song do you want to sing? I was like, well, I, I can play guitar. He said, you can't play my guitar. But Chris and I were talking about, like, people are weird about it. And he was like, I don't know if you're any good. I was like, I opened for Bon Jovi. He's like, yeah, whatever. And it was in Jersey. I was in Jersey. And he still wouldn't let me play. I was like, fine, dude. I'm just trying to play a song for my mom. I'm play slice. Um, it's later than I thought it was. So how? What? What are we looking at now? Because I started a few minutes late. But should I do two more, or three more, or what do you think? Uh, I think one more. Okay, one more. The encore. The encore. <laughs> do the encore, not like Chris's encores. Um. Oh, okay. Well, you guys have to come back and see me because I want to play you my dirtiest song ever one day. <laughs> but it won't be today. So. Oh. Um. <clears throat> photograph or creep. Dirty song. Now you're intrigued. Chris, well, can I take a Chris on for Chris? <laughs> I don't mind if you play it, if you play two more songs. I don't know how Mike feels, but I don't care. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's ever heard this song. Maybe he'll feel good about it. <laughs> but what do you guys want after that? Photograph or creep? Creep. Creep. Okay. That's good. I don't really want to play for Chris. <laughs> it sounds better on the record anyway. Um, okay, so I'll play this one. This is a Wheeler Walker Jr. song. You guys know Wheeler Walker Jr.? Besides for me. Some of you know this for me. I think this is how we like met. Is this how we met? On, on Zoom, we played this song. I was like, that girl. 
Yeah. We should be oh my God, I love you. <laughs> I had no idea. There's some, some of my friends are like, whoa, that's intense. I played this once in Alabama and the bouncer came up to me singing the lyrics and I was like, do you understand that when I sing it, it's like empowering and I'm like a woman singing it about, you know, and he's all, and when you sing it, it's very condescending. <laughs> <laughs> white masculinity toxicity and he's like what <laughs> um my husband was walking through the house and i was learning a song he's like why are you learning that and i said because the man said titties three times in one sentence and i have to understand it <laughs> i have to study this <laughs> lyric writing and i was at uh sherwood country club um uh, tuesday night and it's the kind of place where when i came there i was like not sure where I was going. I, was, I asked the guy running the gate, hey, so where's the live music happening? I was sitting in at a friend's show. I said, where's the live music happening? And he said, what do you mean? I said, at the country club, because there's a couple country clubs in here. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, is there like a big building that's like the main music place at the country club? And he's like, goes, there's a lot of vacant mansions and a lot of big mansions. <laughs> I'm like, are you trying to tell me I should like move into one of these mansions? Like, what's going on? And so I'm in this fancy country club and, uh, I was like about to leave and we were somehow talking about some something and this song came up and one of the members knew all the lyrics. So it, it's like nobody in California knows the song except some dude who like is a member of this fancy dancy country club. I feel like I just play it wherever the fuck I want. Um, here we go. You are so lucky you're not from LA and you're at all in I'm from San LA. Francisco. I'm sorry. <laughs> LA West Coast Silicon women really think they're hot But it's no fun titty fucking titties when the titties are hard as rocks <laughs> If you laugh you won't hear the song All them up tight titties up in New York City like to shake the cooch I prefer a little fur on my burger if you're wanting me to tell the truth I love a pussy in boots. Girl knows how to honk a tongue. Comes along to a willy song while she's humming on the cotton balls. Your roommate should be here for this. My girl in a cowboy hat. Tongue nose where my balls at. Push poking and daisy dukes. I like my pussy in boots. Anyone from Chicago here? <laughs> oh, hey, all right. Well, the girls in Chicago, they can spit, they can swallow when they're on their knees. <laughs> it's hard to stay hard when you're fucking in a car and it's four degrees. <laughs> all the girls in Milwaukee want to slob on my cocky, but I have to pass. Cause I only get wood when my dick is of a good old southern ass. <laughs> I like my puss in boots. Girl knows how to honk her tongue. Comes along to a wheeler song while she's humming on the cock and balls. Oh, my girl in a cowboy hat. Tongue knows where my butthole's at. But she's poking at her daisy dudes. <laughs> And boots. You know it already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want them high heels on while you're sliding up and down my dome. And keep the fucking flip flops and your birkin socks away from my hillbilly cock like my pussy. <laughs> Girl knows how to honk the tongue. Comes along to feel her song while she's humming on the cocky balls. I want a girl in a cowboy hat. John knows where my butthole's at. Bush poking at a daisy dukes. I like my puss in boots. You know you want to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson <laughs> What'd you say? PG-13. Can you imagine that at NAMM? Like, only if I get another one of those, like, 12 a.m. type yes. slots. That would Perfect. be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, okay, I'm going to bring us home. 
And uh, yeah, I didn't want to leave my set with that song, but I felt the urge. <laughs> I felt the urge to play that. And Brent's cousins were planning on coming, and they like are very well. They would have brought like their twelve year old. And I was talking to them the other day about um, one of my friends and I keep sending each other really inappropriate stuff about um, things people sell on the internet. And I can't go there. Okay, I'm gonna stop myself. But I brought it up to them at dinner. <laughs> Which is not apparently something you should do for anyone, especially not for them. Anyways, I think I'm realizing why they're not here today. <laughs> but I think whatever. Um, so this is this is a. I'm gonna send you home with creep because it's one of my favorite songs, and um, also plan on recording this soon. If I can get nice. get get that done. And um, this is another one that I have live streaming to thank for bringing into my world. Someone requested it once. Mm -hmm. And I started playing it and was like, ooh, I need to cover this song. And uh, long story short, I was bullied a lot in junior high school. I got taken out of a tiny little Catholic <clears throat> school in the West Village in New York City. And my mom brought me out to Staten Island, which is basically like the Florida of our country. It's like, <laughs> sorry if you're from Florida. Everyone here is like from everywhere. <laughs> Chris, okay, it doesn't count. It's not Florida. It's like the Oklahoma <laughs> of Texas. No, it's okay. Florida's Texas right. doesn't like Oklahoma. It's like the Texas. It's something. And um, anyways, I had no friends very quickly and was bullied. And uh, I sing this song and it just kind of reminds me of that other feeling. And I think you've always keep that with you. But as I've gotten older, I realized like, it's not just the bullies who were being, you know, picking on picking on the people who were bullied and they were in pain. I'm like, trying to truncate the story and the story is totally being butchered. I'm so sorry. But it's not just, you know, I always think this is not just for the people who were bullied. This is also for those who were doing the bullying because they were also really hurting. You come to find out as you get older, like, wow, <coughs> you're probably going through some shit at home. Mm -hmm. Or hurt people, hurt people. Right. So here it is. This is a, if I can remember the chords, because my brain doesn't work anymore because pregnancy brains are real thick. <laughs> And it's been five minutes since I talked about being pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you
We didn't really discuss that, what was happening, so I'm not sure if there's a break or we're doing a break. So 